Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about the high block planning effect. We know the importance of vertical performance on a wet surface. Consider a tear in a decelerating condition, which means the tear is rolling to a flattened surface. So there will be a hydrodynamic pressure will be created in between the contact patch of the tear and the tear rod tarmac. So the hydrodynamic pressure is directly proportional to the square of the vertical velocity. So it will increase with the velocity of the vertical, which means the radial velocity of the tear. So, uh, if the uh, velocity of the vertical is too much slow, uh, the, uh, a wedge shaped water level will be formed in the leading edge of the contact patch. So, as the uh, velocity increases, uh, the water level will stretch to the trailing edge. So, uh, finally, this uh, effect will the hydrodynamic pressure will lead to a force, a lift force that is creating in between this contact patch. So, uh, at a particular level or a particular speed, uh, the grip of the tear or the tear will start to float over the flooded level or the water road surface. So, this effect is known as hydroplaning. So, what causes the hydroplaning effect? Uh, this is uh, only because of uh, the lift force uh, that is created in the hydrodynamic pressure region will get equalized with respect to the normal reaction or the weight of the vertical that is acting to the, to the tear. So, in this condition or the critical at a particular speed or at a critical speed, uh, the weight of the vertical will equalize with respect to the lift force that is acting through the contact patch area. So, what causes it? Actually, uh, the lift force is directly proportional to the density of the fluid that is in between the tear and the rod tarmac. So, uh, secondly, it is also proportional to the square of the vertical speed as well as the contact patch area. We know the contact patch area is a function of inflation pressure of the pneumatic air. And we know that the pneumatic tear is inflated with air. So uh, the inflation pressure is directly proportional to the contact patch area, which means higher the inflation pressure means the contact patch area will get reduced. Which means uh, if we have a lower contact patch area means higher inflation pressure and higher contact patch area means lower inflation pressure. Both are inversely proportional. So the inflation pressure have a direct influence in the hydro planning effect. So at which speed? We know that we have various vehicles uh, including and each vehicles have a various tear characteristics and thread characteristics. So if you are considering, uh, uh, there is a lot of probability for this to happen. One condition is if we are using a slick tear in a wet surface or we are using a tear with a lower tread depth and the water level or the flood level uh, of the road tarmac is higher than the tread depth. So the, uh, these two conditions will lead to hydro planning effects. So in these conditions, exact speed for each tear with respect to the uh, surface uh, through which the tear is rolling. There is a critical speed where the hydro planning effects start to happen. So it, the, uh, we, there, is a, if there is an equation for finding this uh, critical speed uh, at which the hydro planning effects start to happen. So uh, I already said uh, the velocity, we know the velocity is square uh, for, uh, for uh, and it is directly proportional to the lift force. So in this condition uh, for finding that critical speed of the tear, uh, we have to find the square root. So I already said the contact patch area is directly proportional to the inflation pressure. So uh, the uh, critical speed is directly proportional to the root of inflation pressure. So you can see the equation right here for finding uh, that in mile per hour as well as in kilometer per hour. So you, uh, if you are a fan of Formula 1 cars, you have seen a lot of um, uh, races where they are talking about the hydro planning effect or they, they are using the wet tear uh, at a rainy condition. This is why uh, they are using, uh, they have a medium tear and a wet tear. So medium tear is used for a lesser rainy condition uh, if, we, if they have very high or huge rain they will prefer the wet tear because with a higher depth rate, tread depth rate for reducing the hydro planning effort. So the hydro planning effort must be avoided for better safety because that's the prime objective and uh, this prime thing uh, we, have, we have to avoid the accident that is happening uh, when we are driving the vehicle through a wet tarmac. So this is how uh, wet, um, the hydro planning effect happen in a wet surface. If you love this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updated in the automotive. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And